I like to say, we make children smile, we make parents weep, and we make nerds rejoice. And any of those is actually a real badge of honor, but to be able to do all three all at once, which is what usually happens, um, is huge. The Holy Nabel thing was a let's just see what happens, and open source turned out to be the easiest way to do that. When I first walked into this lab and saw a young man named Derek receiving an arm uh, that was made with a 3D printer, I was just blown away. I couldn't really believe it at all. So I'm looking down at this and I'm not seeing a hand and some weird plastic thing. I'm seeing two hands. He says, so I was born without self-consciousness with a, a hand like this and my dad and I designed this thing and we use a 3D printer and he goes boom, boom, and everyone leaps to their feet and they give him a standing ovation. Our goal is to totally democratize the process so that any amputee can find an appropriate device and get access to the information and the design files and, and make themselves uh, an assistive mechanical device. Our mission here is to make these designs available to anyone anywhere, to provide access, not to protect treasure. Uh, I can't imagine new designs being developed and delivered to the marketplace in a matter of weeks or months, doing it the old way. Being able to share um, and build on each other's ideas um, is, a, is a whole new world. What we're trying to do is we're trying to almost like fast pace what you would originally do with research and development. So you have one idea here um, and you have another idea here and you have someone who can help you make that idea either happen or even better. One set of designs all came together with uh, a project where we built an arm for a, um, a child in Mexico starting from his existing prosthesis that was given to us in September. We'd in, incorporated all the best things that we'd been designing for the past two months. And they got there to him just in time for, <laughs> for Christmas. And that was all possible because of the technologies and the philosophies that allow good ideas to go around the world at the speed of light.